What a week, Art Basel is over. I want to share my key takeaways from last week in Miami Beach. Well, what is Art Basel? It was 20th year anniversary of this huge fair that started in Switzerland. They have right now edition in Hong Kong and Paris, but Miami Beach was here for some time. This year, we are kind of in recession and everybody was thinking, what's gonna happen? Are there gonna be sales? But still, the town was booming. There was traffic everywhere. It took one hour and a half to get to places between the fairs and everybody was here. Art lovers, art collectors, celebrities, everybody from real estate world launching their events, NFT and crypto doing their events. It's just everybody piggybacking on this main art fair. There are a lot of satellite fairs concurrent to Art Basel, main event at convention center. So for me, I was really overwhelmed. I wanted to see everything. On the other hand, we have our own exhibit and I want to meet our art collectors and visitors. And it just was amazing week, my favorite week of the year. Why did I decide to showcase my art? We just moved to Miami and I thought I'm here already. I told Effie, let's bring the trailer of art. He traveled across America with more pieces because Possibly we can use it to our gallery, new gallery here in Miami Beach. So I was very excited to have the whole booth at the opening of the Red Dot Art Fair. Usually we just give a couple pieces to different galleries who represent us and we love to walk around because it is so much to see. So we really try to take it in. This is the week when you get inspired as an artist. It's like celebration of creativity. Everybody comes with their latest art pieces or the best works. And this year, for 20th year anniversary Art Basel, is really the galleries went really ahead to bring their best works. So Art Basel starts usually on Tuesday and it is VIP Vernissage and it's only billionaire collectors are invited to this show and celebrities. Leonardo DiCaprio was spotted eyeing some art by paparazzi and then just first three hours many galleries announced they sold out some of their main pieces. Gagosian, the gallery who makes $1 billion worth of sales a year, announced they sold 50 works the first day. And then some record-breaking sales happened as well. The $7 million painting was sold. And um, for public, the fair opens up last three days. So Tuesday and Wednesday, it's preview, it's VIP, and then Thursday to Saturday, it is open for public. This year, I noticed there was something different. First of all, last year there were a lot of COVID stations to check you and uh, just uh, to provide safety for everybody. Right now, everybody got used to COVID, so nobody cares, so it was business as usual. But there was so much people coming to the fair that I was surprised that everything was segregated by time. I didn't notice it last year. Maybe it was, but it's a recent thing. So if you really want to attend Art Basel, you have to buy tickets in advance and make sure you come by the time your ticket shows you, because otherwise you'll have to hang out two, three hours around until you can get into the fair. And also, I think the best it is visit the fairs during weekdays. It's less crowds. Weekends, there's tons of people. It's uh, so many people in the corridors of the fair that it's even hard to look at the art. It's just uh, easier to enjoy art pieces beforehand. My three takeaways from this year Art Basel Miami Beach Week. First, it seemed a lot of art was pre-sold. Why does it happen? Well, if you think it is a lot of cost that comes into participating in the fairs. 
There is main fare that the costs there range from 100,000 to 300,000 for galleries just to rent a space. It adds up the staff, the travel and the transportation of art. If the art is so expensive, there is insurance as well. But the big galleries, they can uh, survive these fairs much better than the medium size or smaller galleries. They have a big following of the collectors. Some works that are so highly desirable have a list like a line of collectors who want to purchase them. So basically, I feel many galleries, they just go for their image because they've been doing it for a while. A lot of people just don't go to physical galleries. It's easier for collectors come and visit a lot of galleries at one big location and it is parties all around. It's like different experience. It's very festive. So the pre-sales happen actually one or two weeks in advance. The galleries would contact their best loyal collectors to offer them the artwork. Additionally, um, they are very careful to whose hands the artwork gonna go. Sometimes they um, sign very strict agreements that the collector not going to flip this artwork in the auction to make more money. So that's why, well, pre-sales are very important in the fairs. The second takeaway as an artist. So there is so much art. I got overwhelmed even in one fair, walking through the booths. I thought how I can stand out. There is so many good talent around. So I thought then, okay, just if you come as an artist, if it's your dream to exhibit during this Art Basel week like it was mine, just come with open mind. Not necessarily it's gonna get sold because I walked through the booths and a lot of things they didn't get sell because it's just so much offer. It's um, offer more than the demand. There's a lot of uh, viewers you will see, you will collaborate, like you will talk to people who come to visit, but not necessarily everything gonna get sold, but you may acquire some new followers. You will have something to share with your collectors. Well, you will have it in your resume, you'll have more exposure, but um, it just can get overwhelming with uh, so much art, but it's a celebration. I feel like it's a professional holiday, basically. <laughs> it is uh, very fun, there is a lot of parties. <clears throat> just get the help um, that somebody can be in your booth so you can also go see and enjoy what is going on in other fairs, not be only in one place. And the third takeaway, while I was walking and looking at, at so many talented artists, I thought, how would you stand out? So I realized you really have to build your personal story, your personal brand. There, there was a lot of artists who do similar work, but then I know there is one famous artist who does something similar, but everybody's buying for like uh, seven figures from him because he's very like famous, he has fun Instagram, he has uh, fun travels, he just uh, nurtures his following. And then when you're just starting out, you're not so visible. So I think for the artist, it's very important to work on their brand, on their story, on their personality, to share something unique with their following. And this way you will stand out and get more collectors. In conclusion, I would say Art Basel Miami Beach, it is must attend event for any artist or any creative soul. Even if you cannot see all the fairs, it's such a fun week. It's my favorite week of the year. You will get so much inspiration, you will meet uh, some new people, you will party, you will uh, do a lot of things. I'm so grateful I had an opportunity to be here during this week and share this with you, walk you through the booth, show you the art that I like and show art that we create. Thank you for watching and tune in next time.